Oh, so we sent to the Malawi, and then after that, they sent to the Afghanistan. <laughs> and then they pulled out all the Marines. <laughs> Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Claire Pressimum. I work with CRS currently in our Mission and Mobilization Division, which is a U.S. spacing, spacing division. Uh, my team, we work on engaging partners, potentially like every single one of you in this room, to engage in the mission of CRS. To, the, to support our work overseas. And I'm here tonight, the distinct privilege of introducing the uh, recipient of this year's John F. Hurley SJ Commendation, Dr. Jerome Zurich, uh, also known as Jerry. I like to call him Jay Z, as most of the students call him. Um, and it was suggested that maybe I should share, like, how. How good a guy Jay Z is, or like kind of talk about him nicely, maybe. I've known him a long time, so um, in truth, I found it actually hard to talk about how nice he is in so short a time because there's so much good stuff to say about Jay Z. Uh, so you may have seen in your um, program that Jay Z is a graduate of Fordham, did his BA here, but then got his MA and PhD from Bryn Mawr College. Uh, but I think most importantly, he spent over 50 years working at Cabrini University outside of Philadelphia as a professor of communications. And uh, not only did he really shape and guide the department there and its countless students, but he used his position to encourage students all across the campus, not just in the communications department, to think globally. Uh, actually, I'm one of his lost causes. He wanted me to be a communications major, and I just never could make a shift. But we still got to work together. Uh, he wanted students to find ways to grow in their understanding of how they can interact with the world and use their skills to make it a better place. About 20 years ago, Daisy discovered that a partnership with CRS could potentially be the thing that his justice students needed. And so we got to work. He piloted the CRS Student Ambassador Program at Cabrini's campus. He initiated the Global Solidarity Network, two initiatives that spread across the nation to many other campuses. He hosted annual Food Fast events, shepherded more than 500 students to over 1,600 advocacy visits over that time. <laughs> curriculum that Scarbrini's known for, and continues to this day, even in his retirement, to guide the students participating in Cabrini's CRS chapter. It's evident that Jay-Z found plenty of ways to make the mission of CRS accessible and personal to students year after year. Here's where I am from the story. I happen to be one of those former students who Jay-Z inspired with the work of CRS. Um, sorry that I have to use your intro to share a bit of my resume, but it will, it will make sense. Um, I mentioned that I currently work in U.S. spacing uh, operations. Henry introduced me as also having worked in overseas uh, operations in Malawi and Afghanistan with CRS. And I first got my start when I was with Jay-Z on our CRS campus uh, as an intern at headquarters in our advocacy department. So I've done quite a bit uh, over spanning about five years altogether. And my good friend and former colleague, Maureen McCullough, who's also here tonight, likes to claim my connection to CRS. But I'm here to officially say that the reason I am working at CRS today is because a dedicated professor welcomed me into a CRS meeting on my campus, and I never looked back. What's more, I now work on a team that specifically tasked with engaging university partners just like Jay-Z uh, across the country. So to me, this is a very full circle moment. And I have to say thank you, Jay-Z, for making all of this an important part of my life. Jay-Z has been a committed partner of CRS for more than 20 years. 
and the recognition tonight is a well-deserved honor for a man who not only brought the needs of the most vulnerable <clears throat> into view for students on a small Catholic liberal arts campus outside of Philly, but also used his position to support the work of CRS through education and advocacy for many years. His impact on the promotion of CRS's work and mission is inspiring, and it has led to valuable gains in the work of CRS in the U.S. to promote the needs of our global family. I hope that someday every university might have a champion like Jay-Z to encourage students to want to make a difference in this world. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating Dr. Jerry Burr. On this Thank <laughs> you. 